Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm Rose Casey, and today I want to talk about how to keep your mouth shut. And I know this might seem really directive and kind of harsh, but really, it's just some really good advice that uh, you could use in pretty much your everyday life. Uh, I know that probably not the best person that you want to get this advice from but hey and uh, also by the way Halo 4 is great this uh, video is actually uh, footage from my first ever Halo 4 multi you know, multiplayer match I did actually pretty well I'm loving the game so far at no problems campaign was amazing the episodes are great uh, multiplayer is awesome, Forge is awesome, haven't really got to dab too much into it. I have been live streaming a lot, and since the game has been out, this is actually the first commentary that I've made. And I'm probably going to end up shorting up the video, but anyways, enough about that. So some things have happened here recently that have made me realize the whole concept and... Uh, the whole idea behind letting other people talk and it's made me realize how some things and ideas and the situation between two people and their relationship is flawed at points because sometimes no matter how nice you are to a person they will abuse them and you can say something about that and they'll be upset and they'll try to defend themselves and that works both ways like if if you were to tell me you did something and I were to sit there and, and tell you no uh, the, what you did was wrong you know you would try in every way most of the time to try and defend yourself and give her you know give me some reason in, uh, of sorts to why what you did you know, it was uh, your choice and, and why you're not wrong for doing it. Most people won't sit there and say, yeah, I'm sorry, it's, um, it's my fault, I'm wrong. And today, I'm going to kind of, you know, touch up on what I've done here recently that uh, up or down, you could say is wrong or right just depends on what side you look at and how what kind of a person you are it really doesn't matter what it is uh, all I'm gonna say is just you know I've pretty much put my whole life on the line for particularly things you know I've been straight up with people I've been honest with people and I know that at times people have probably taken the things that I've said and and really just went out of whack with it. I mean, my best friends, online friends, personal friends that I would go face to face with. And man, it doesn't matter. Sometimes it just happens, you know. But you'll know the friends that are going to be with you till the end are the ones that even though you have that crap happen with, you know, uh, you have really dumb things happen with your friends but they're still going to be there for you. Those are the friends that you need to keep in your life. Because there will be people in your life that really just do not care about you. They want what is best for them. And if they find out that they can't get that all the time, they will leave. They will ditch you. They will go for someone else. And I, on personal account, have had one particular person in my life who will always tell me that they're going to be there for me no matter what. That they love me. That they care for me yet they've really in this last couple of years really I've had to shake my head and say what is this no friend of mine would ever do this you know tell me one thing and then go do the opposite you know and it's to the point now where I don't know what to do maybe I shouldn't do anything maybe I should and maybe I should just keep my mouth shut.
because sometimes that's what got me in trouble in the first place is even though I might be right even though I might be wrong it doesn't really matter like I said I could be right I could be wrong I have to just keep my mouth shut sometimes you know you could be on a honeymoon and about to be going for you know full circle with things right but you say one little thing and you might not at the moment think that it's such a big deal but to someone else you could ruin the entire month you can ruin everything with just one sentence and normally it's because you don't think things through normally it's because we don't we don't take the time to think well if i say this you know what is that going to do to us most of the time we you know we think that we're thinking things through but really what's actually going on is oh i'm thinking this through but i don't really care what happens when in reality it does it feels good for the first 10 seconds but after it's said and done you actually have to live with the consequences and that's not necessarily a good feeling at all now is it now like i said this is just advice for me guys this is just my personal experience brought into a form that you might want to listen to maybe you don't if that's not your thing then i apologize but what i'm just trying to get across is look there's going to be a lot of times in your life where you're either going to be right or you're going to be wrong about something and someone's pushing something on your plate and you're going to want to say a whole lot to them you're going to want to defend yourself you're going to want to push things out of the way. You're going to want to get things done, get things taken care of, and and just do what you think is right, but necessarily to someone else is not right to them. You know, they think that's wrong. And depending on the situation, if you go ahead with what you're going to say, you're going to mess things up. And I think that's up to you on whether or not that things need to be said but most of all I think you need to think about what you're about to say and what the effects are like I said maybe things do need to be said but I think you should shut your mouth at least long enough so that you can think about what's about to happen after you say that of which you know you're gonna say because if I tell you all to go screw yourselves and I think that's funny or I think that's really what I, you know I'm thinking, um, it might feel good for 10 seconds, but after that, it really is going to just come tumbling down. That's a really poor excuse, but, you know, it's just I'm going with it because I'm pretty sure you guys get the picture. But what, you know, it, the importance is, is I'm going to keep this in mind because, like I have told you guys, probably not the best guy you want to come to for advice. Because I, you know, it's really, really flawed the way advice works. We can give advice, but sometimes we can't take it. Uh, the big problem is being able to try and use it and, and go through with it yourself. And that's a big, a bit, you know, big issue for me because part of me is just like, why? Why can't I just say what I want to say why can't I defend myself why do I have to keep my mouth shut because everyone gets to have their opinion why do I not get to my mind you know I'm sick and tired of sitting here and letting people run over me it's about it's about time for me to have what's rightfully mine well I realize now if I got to have that all the time people wouldn't get to have theirs and they'd be unhappy and things would just get to be really selfish and it just it's not good I don't know either way it's it just sometimes it just doesn't work out but I don't want to be like you know I don't want you guys to think I'm a downer or anything like that it's just it's just really been on my mind and I really want you guys to you know I want you guys to consider some of these things that I, I actually talk about because take it from me you know Sure, you can live and learn yourself, but why not take some advice from someone who's been through it before? And just kind of think about it. Ponder on it a little bit, you know. But really, uh, that's all I have to say for right now. My chest is beating real fast. I'm kind of shaky. 
I really just want to get some rest. I think that's what I'm going to go do. I hope you guys are doing a lot better than I am. And I hope you guys have a good day or night or whatever it is that you're going to be doing. Anyways, peace out, guys. See ya.